Hey everyone, this is Wei and welcome back. Let's go over some key points for the lip so that we can easily draw from different angles. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. All right, let's draw the lip. So I'm gonna start with the front view. So basically the, the lip, let me push this in frame. I'll just sketch it out real quick and I'll show you the uh, kind of like the main uh, points, you know, main features of the mouth, of the lip, I mean, and so, so that we can start shading it. So from the front view, um, you have to obviously the opening here and in the top and the bottom. So what's important is that obviously we know, you know, we know this part, right? It kind of sinks in a little bit. Now there's a little bulge right in the middle right here. And that creates this little kind of V shape right here. Now, of course, every, everyone's lip is different, but if this is like a very generic, you know, if you just kind of do like a generic lip with just like the default lighting from the top. And then on the lower lip, uh, it's really important to know that there's two bulges right here. Okay. And then this thing kind of comes under a little bit. And, and some people have it straight, but you know, in general, there's like a bulge right here. There's two bulges and this kind of dips in a little bit. And if you want to make it straight, that's fine too, but I'm just talking in really general cases, okay? So then this is the corner of the, uh, the mouth. The lip is always dark. So if you were to shade it, we can just shade the upper lip darker because it's always, uh, you know, because this kind of hangs over the lower lip. So this can be darker, okay? And then the bottom here. Now, if you see some of my um, drawings, you know I like to do when I'm shading a little, I'll actually go in and do these kind of lines. I mean, you, you, you can do that, you know, because it kind of gives the, it's kind of like contour lines and you kind of get a little bit of texturing too. So this part is dark, okay? This little V here and I might, might be exaggerating it. Okay, this is dark, dark. And then this part is darker here on the corner because it, it's kind of tucking in and it's not getting a lot of reflective lighting. So this upper lip, usually it's a lot, little bit darker and then you still got this little v-shape here okay and right here this little two two spots because this is kind of like a v-shape okay so this is a little bit darker like this and then we can go on to the lower lip so the lower lip catches um light so it's gonna darken you know right around here and what really brings out the lower lip is actually the uh what's uh you know, under it because this dips in. So usually this is very dark. Okay, so this kind of tucks in. And then there's two bulges right here. That's another thing. This, it's like this kind of comes in. It's almost, if I were doing contour lines, it's kind of like that. So this is like really generic. Like again, the corner of the mouth, this, okay, a little bit of lighting. And this is white right here because it's, there's a bulge right here and it catches the light on the top. So if I were to shade this, now to make this realistic, um, there's usually some shadowing going on from the upper lip. So this part becomes dark and it's actually darker than the, uh, the, the upper lip because it's a cast shadow. And remember cast shadows are darker than uh, things in the shade. And so this whole part is things in the shade. And then we're going to shade this a little bit darker. And the reasoning is because this part right here is getting a little bit of bounce lighting from the lower lip. So this part actually is a little bit lighter. And these are just some ways to get, you know, get your uh, lip drawing a little bit more realistic. So then this part is darker because it's in shadow. Okay. So that's a very general, you know, shading for the lip from the top. So if we were to simplify, let's say, you know, we don't want to go into this, you know, all this shading. Um, it's really simple. You have this V shape here, goes to the corner of the lip, the mouth, right? It's dark here, we have this V shape, and then we're gonna go up like this. Those two little shapes right this. Okay, oops, sorry, <laughs> wasn't even free. And then the lower lip, we can just do a line like that. And if you want to, you want to shade a little bit, you know, just to give it a little bit more shape. You just, you can just kind of dab it in like this, a little bit of that. And then underneath the, the mouth, the lower lip, and then you can hit this spot a little bit deeper. 
And this part, again, you can make it a little bit darker because again, it's like kind of here, you know, there's a little bit more shadowing because this kind of tucks in a little bit because there's a V shape here. Okay. So then you have your little, little mouth and really to, I mean, if you want to really simplify it, I mean, you can just kind of go like, you know, this is what kind of cartoon do, does, right? And then there's it. That's pretty much your lip. I mean, you can do that too. So that's really simplified. But in general, I mean, this is actually kind of a neat, really quick way of, of drawing a lip, you know, just, just by doing that. All right, so we're gonna move on to the three quarter view, which is a little bit different uh, because, let me, sh right, let me draw this real quick. Because the lip, the mouth is actually, I'm, I'm gonna draw like a little, kind of like a panel here. Okay, this is the middle of the panel. And this is really nicely illustrated by uh, Andrew Loomis. So the lip is actually curving, right? Your mouth is actually curving in, it's not flat. So it's kind of like this, okay? So just remember that, that there's, the lip is not laying flat, it's actually curved in, kind of like a, on a cylinder. So we're gonna draw from a three quarter view. Um, we can start off on the V shape, okay, like this. Here's the top, and then we're gonna draw this side coming into the corner of the, the, the mouth. And then, we, now this side kind of tucks in because it's round, right? Remember, it's round. So that's why the corner of the mouth here, and, and here's the corner of the mouth. And then here's the V shape, and this extends outward. Okay, and then now we have this two bumps on the bottom here. Okay, so this goes over. Okay, and then here is, this is one shape here. This is a little bit rounder because it's, again, it's curving backward. So it, it, it gets a little bit trickier. Okay, so we'll just shade this. We can just kind of shade this dark, the upper part darker, and then right here is dark. I'm using a 4B, uh, maybe I should have used a 6B, probably would have shaded a little bit quicker. Okay, so here is the corner, and then this is dark here. We have this little V shape here. And again, if we were gonna shade it realistically, I'm moving toward that realism. Give this upper part a little bit darker. And then this part right here is gonna be dark because it's not getting as much bounce lighting. And then there's a shadow in here, very dark. And then now we have the curvature of the lip here. And then the bottom, again, there's two bulges right here. And this is dark here. corner of the mouth okay so usually uh, you know this this is the part that kind of stumps people and it is a little bit difficult because you kind of have to envision this kind of complex shape bending and that's that's the, the harder part okay so if we were to simplify that let's say we just gonna draw like the corner here's the V shape okay and then Corner, corner, we can draw this top here. A little bit rounder here, again, because of bending backwards. I mean, bending away. And then the lower lip, we can shade this a little bit darker. We can shade this real quick like this. And just like that, you know, it, it gives a pretty decent looking lip. And again, if you wanna simplify it even more, I guess you can just kinda go like this. Oh, this would be, I'm oh, sorry, way too low, small. You know, that could be a, a lip in itself. All right, so now let's go move on to the side. Now the side, uh, one thing to just remember is that just do like a little slant here because the side lip, uh, the upper lip is goes over the lower lip, you know, for the most part, right? Unless, I guess if you have over, like an overbite or something, underbite. All right, so you, you're gonna do the, lip here and here's that little V shape here. Okay, and then we're gonna go up. Okay, the corner, we're gonna come down like this. Here's the corner of the mouth. Corner, again, and then the lower lip just kind of hangs over. And then this part comes down. Okay, this thing tucks in, that's why it's dark here. So we're going to shade it. Again, same thing, we'll do the top 
darker. This part is a little bit darker here. Less reflective lighting, so it's darker. In here is a little bit darker. Okay, and then the shadow, we can do a little shadowing here. Very dark shadow. Lower lip. There's a pouch here, and then this part is dark. There's the in, inside the, the crease in the mouth. Okay. And then this tucks in a little bit. The corner of my lip. All right. Now this is pretty rough, but I guess if we continue to shade it, it'll make it a little bit better, but you get the idea. Okay. So if, again, to simplify this one, um, we can actually, well, actually a lot of people just kind of go like this. They don't even bother doing the, the little up. They just kind of like, whatever, you know, this, this can almost be straight sometimes. And it just, there's the corner of the mouth, come down, like really basic. There's some very simple shading. Because from the side, you know, it's like, you, sometimes you don't want to do too much to it because, you know, you, you end up making it a little, a little bit too weird, you know, a little bit too much shading sometimes on the side. Okay, so yeah, I mean, if you want it really simple, I suppose you can just kind of, I mean, that's what cartoon does is, right? Just kind of like that. And yeah, that, that could be almost in a, in a lip in itself. It's just kind of shaded like that and real simple. Okay, so that's the, the three basic thing about, uh, I mean, the three different angles for a lip. And, you know, the main point is that, that remember there's a bulge here and there's a V shape here. And then from there you can kind of shade it. And again, the lip is very complicated. Um, the best thing to do is to kind of, if you're having problems, just kind of like, you know, just look in the mirror, you know, take a picture of yourself or in, in, uh, from different angles and then you just draw that, so. Okay, so that is my little uh, tutorial on how to draw lips and hope you guys have more success if you guys have a problem with lips. Hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you next time.